Hello and welcome to the first video on cannons. Right, believe it or not, this is a cannon. Probably one of the more effective cannons out there. There we go. Notice how they set on fire at mid-air. You know, it's caused, basically caused the projectile coming out of the uh, cannon is a barrel. And the barrel, when it receives 10 damage from the turret, explodes. Or at least sets on fire and then explodes shortly afterwards. This is a cool cannon because you build it in seconds and you can rapid fire it. Tell me that's not cool. Alright. To build this, very simple. We need an explosive barrel and a turret. Now, the turret settings. Notice I've set the uh, turret key to full stop. This will be the same as a prop spawner. That acts as our ammunition spawner for the cannon. Now then, bullets per shot, one. You can have it on 10, but that means that each the, bullet, the damage that each bullet does needs to be set to 1. Basically, you need to cause 10 damage. At the moment, I've got it set to 1 bullet at 10 damage. That'll set the uh, barrel on fire. Bullet spread is on 0, because we want to keep it accurate. Uh, bullet force on fire, and that sort of dictates the range of the cannon. The stronger that is, the higher that is, the more projectile force it's going to achieve from the single shot of the uh, turret. Uh, I've got a small delay on, so it's harder to jam the cannon, so to speak. It's really hard to jam anyway, because it's just it's an open air thing. Quite accurate there, remember that. So anyway, we have a turret, there we go, and we have a prop spawner. Most on full stop, same as the fire key for the turret. Okay, alright. Grab this, there's no clip so I can get a better angle on it. <laughs> Try to make it point vertic vertically downwards, there we go. Hold that all together. There we go, we have another simple cannon. Should both fire at the same time there. Oh, what a surprise. Okay. Using this one we had earlier, over here I have a bit of a barrel. Now, this is cool if you want a bit more sort of realism to the thing. Get in, please. Thank you. Alright, I was well back in there. It's a bit gyrating about. So in fact, just a bit more... Well, you know, maybe, maybe slightly more accuracy. No more range or anything like that. It's perfect to just look better. Alright, let's get rid of that. I'll have this back. Another cool thing you can do is get such a lightweight cannon. Very effective, fast firing. We've all seen a Jeep before, haven't we? Shift E and get this thing lined up perfect. Here we go. Shift E this as well. Shift E basically locks things in 45 degree angles on a 3D plane. So you can have it pointing straight up, straight down. Just locks things in 45 degrees. Makes it very good for getting things straight with each other. A lot of people don't know that. It's new to guys my 10. I was looking along with the turrets and the prop spawners. Before this, cannons used to be. Uh, quite ineffective, slow to load. This really makes cannons so much nicer. There were ways of doing it, and some quite complicated self-loading systems. But on the whole, it wasn't easy for me to make an effective cannon. Nothing nowhere near this effective, even the most complicated cannons are nowhere near this effective. Look at this. Beautiful. So quick. So very quick. Okay, well, thanks a lot. This is the first video in the series, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. 